<laughs> Becoming a parent is a life-changing event. We road test five first-time parents on the greatest ride of their lives as they share the first four months of life after birth. Tonight, two months down the track, self-esteem is high on the agenda. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> I've got nothing to wear. Amazing. I just felt like such a failure. I can't even look after my own baby. The bubs are getting daddy time. It's gonna get wild. Aren't you supposed to be on Baby Watch? It did poo all over the place again. And everyone's getting back to business. So do you reckon sex is the same? But you had a baby coming out of there. No one likes to hear that about your lady bits. Alan and Jennifer are spending the week in Orange, where trainee surgeon Alan is working at the hospital. Jennifer finds herself caring for six-week-old Caden alone for the first time since he was born. OK, I'm going to put you down for two minutes while I go wash your bottle, OK? Here. I didn't think it would be this hard being away from mom. So I don't know how moms look after their babies on their own while their husbands are at work. So another five more hours until Alan gets back. He's going to take over as soon as he steps in. I do feel guilty about the fact that I'm here. I have to be here. One of us has to work. And it just so happens that my job pulls me away from a crying baby for 12 hours a day. It was really good, everything went well. Yeah, it's a very straightforward operation. There's no other job that I could imagine myself doing. I love surgery. I think it's the most incredible thing to see and to be a part of. With the remote town in the grip of a heat wave, Jennifer is feeling isolated and trapped. I'm missing home so much. I want to go back to the air con, the proper changing table. And it's so hot. See, it's nice. Here. I'm just trying to cool him down with an ice pack. I really don't like being inside of the house right now, but at the same time, I'm just a bit scared. Yeah, to take him out. I worry about where to change him, where to feed him. Feeding him is fine. I could just probably feed him in the pram, but I just don't think I can do it. I get really panicky now when he cries because he just cries nonstop. I think this is my second confinement after Mum's left. You still look really hot. Hi. Hey. Oh, I'm going to have some lunch now. When I come home, Everything's 50-50, like she's up and expressing and I'm up and feeding. And... I'm actually really missing our, like, cramped department. You can drive back. It takes four hours. If Caden's not here, then I can sleep. So I'll be fine. Should I pack now? If you think that's the best thing to do, I'm happy to get ready to go. I can pack his stuff in, like, 15 minutes. OK, let's go. Or we'll just deal with it for another four days. While Jennifer's too scared to leave the house, Charlene can't wait to go out clubbing. But there's a slight hitch. Am I going to fit into this? Nope, extra small. Ah, oh, small. Yep, nothing. I've discovered that I don't fit in any of my clothes anymore. So strange. Yeah, and it'll look all, like, fat warped. Look at that. It's really booby. Exactly. <laughs> You're boobed now. I know, and this was booby before I had boobs, so it's just going to be worse. Yes. So, no. Yes, whore it up. I just want to get smaller so I can fit into the clothes I have instead of staying big and having to get a new wardrobe. <laughs> I need to go out on Saturday and I've got nothing to wear. I 
okay, what... well, you are a new mum. Yeah, exactly. So I would probably steer clear from a short dress. Yep. Oh, that's going to upset me. So I'm pretty depressed. Can you give me a size 12 in pants, please? In the pants? <laughs> please let me fit these ones. Please. Don't make me cry. All these clothes I wish I could wear. And they're all large. <laughs> oh, please. Sorry. <laughs> make me go. upset. That looks good. Do you like it? Not really. <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought, trying to squeeze myself into things, yes. It is. I'm tangled. What is that? Is that an armhole? I like this one. <laughs> I've got nothing to wear. Do you like that one? Yes. I like that. I but do. you're going to have to wear a strapless bra or a sticky bra. Ugh. This is how it's just going to have to be from now on. Yes, I look lots different now. I'd be picking up smalls and extra smalls yeah. and stuff. I would be so scared of that if yeah. I had a baby. I've got dark, obvious stretch marks, but it's, I don't know. I have a kid, so I'm OK to have stretch marks. My mummy stripes. Amy's also trying to come to terms with her new curves. Oh, here we go. This will have my size. Today, she's up for some retail therapy with Bestie Monique, while Glenn and his mate Mitch are out on the water. So what are we looking for today, doll? I need a breastfeeding mm -hmm. over-the-shoulder boulder holder. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have got some boulders there. I can fit my whole Actually, face in this. I think that's too small. It's like a little cat. I think my boobs are huge, too big. They're like bowling balls. Nick, this is a double G. Wow. Ever said it here? GG. It looks like it's still big on your boob, though. It's a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so we're going down go. the next size. Over the shoulder, board, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, sorry, I woke him up. He liked the sound of it. I never thought I would wear an F or these. This is a double F. We've actually seen each other more yeah. now since he had the baby. Yeah, I think it's because Amy's pretty good and Mako's Amy's really good, good with kids and she loves it. Yeah, and she loves being with him all the time. Not that I don't, but Amy's pretty content to be with Mako when he's just just sleeping and that as well. Well, she Shoot. gets like girl time. It's mummy's time, not Mako time. I like the white. I like white. You know what I'm like with white. And you're gonna get matching bottoms, some lacy. I'm not trying on some size 16 bottoms. Nick, this is the black one. Yeah, there's a bit exact same. It's the exact same bra. Looks good. Like, which do you prefer? Um, Looks hot. Mm -hmm. Look at that cleavage. I'm a milk. <laughs> Just kidding. Have you had sex again? Once. Once? Yeah, once. Yeah, how was it? No. Didn't feel different? No. No? Be honest. Didn't feel different? No. What do you mean, normal, but? How can you explain it any more than saying it was normal? No you had different. a baby coming out of there. Yeah, but it's the same. <gasps> oh, fair enough. Was it good? Was what good? Well, like, you waited six weeks. It's a long time. Yeah, but we've been a little bit preoccupied. Yeah. With a little fella. Changing nappies and stuff. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. Sick. You can almost eat that. Mine was definitely bigger. Ow! I can play drums on them. You just made a milkshake for him. It's gonna be <laughs> it's frothy. frothy. <laughs> Let's have a look around at the other kinky stuff. This is what you need. Oh. Would your nips fit in that? No. Oh, look, it's convenient. After a stressful five days in Orange, Alan and Jennifer are heading home. I am counting down to the moment that I walk through my front door in Sydney. The next day, Jennifer gets ready to go to her postnatal checkup. It's our first time going out together on our own. Um, so I had Ellen with me or my mum with me, but they're both not here anymore. Uh oh, you just vomited on me right before we have to go out. Great, great, great. I'll just have to go out with your vomit, Kaden. Uh oh. I just changed you. We'll have to change you again. Okay, let's go. Cool. No, 
I was quite nervous about taking Caden out, but we made it out, and I think the next few times will be easier. But minutes later... I got a really big fright. I was um, trying to get the pram off the train. Somehow, like, it tilted forward, and Kaden almost fell out. Yeah, I'm in a bit, bit of a shock right now. Her day goes from bad to worse. I'm getting about two to three hours of sleep per day and can't think straight. I'm not coping very well. That night, the gruelling schedule of expressing milk and waking Bub for feeds leaves her feeling shattered. So I had a meltdown last night. Um, felt really frustrated and then I burst into tears. And I just felt like, you know, such a failure. I can't even look after my own baby. When we first were pregnant, he was all like, yeah, I can call you MILF now. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I look at the mirror and I'm, it's disgusting. I hate it. I felt so much skinnier when I was pregnant because I had a rock-solid body and now it's all flabby. I think about all these things that you have to go through during pregnancy and after birth. Our husbands will just have to make do with what we've got. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> they chose us. <laughs> They're stuck with us now. <laughs> Jennifer is one and a half kilos above her pre-baby weight now. So she, it just melted off, man. Gotta love those Asian genes. <laughs> I love a body now. Like, it's a bit more voluptuous. Like, I love the body before as well, but like, I, I like a bit more meat on the bone. It's healthy. It's yeah. healthy. And when you do make love, I think that's, it makes them feel good too. It gives them uh, self, builds up their self-esteem yeah. and their confidence. I feel like the romance has increased more. Uh, I think we're sort of getting ready for the second one. <laughs> You're a full Romeo, hey. <laughs> yes, um, we, haven't, we haven't stopped, so it's, it's been good. The, the sex is, hasn't really been on my mind all that much. Yeah. I'm just gonna... I'm too bloody tired all the time. And I'm too... It's just the time factor, I think. Yeah. I'll poke around the back with it and say, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, the first time I really thought it was gonna be like a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> It was really nerve-wracking um, to be like, can you feel it? Like, are you, are, are you there? Like, and he's just like, yeah, it was normal. Yeah, I was really afraid that it was going to be really awful. And, yeah, you I know, tried to clench not, a little bit more. Yeah. And just like, yeah, make and not, your not very sensational, but, yeah, yeah, in fact, Damien thinks it's like being a 16-year-old again. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. <laughs> It's Kiri's turn to go into milking mode. She's expressing breast milk for the first time so she can go out for a massage. First time being into being left alone with Matisse as well, so now I don't know how he's gonna go. I got 130 mils. Woohoo! Okay. Can you listen? Because I'm I've gotta go. Mm. Okay? Just leave it at room temperature if she wants it soon. But if it's later and it gets cold, you can heat it up just a little bit. Oh, I'm so lazy. Babe. You are so lazy, and I'm going. Why, my darling? I'm going to cancel it, babe. No. This is my first time away to do something for myself. Don't go, babe. You're just going to cry. You, you need to do this on your own, so don't call your mum over here or anything like that. OK? Because this is your time with the kids. <sighs> Puts a lot of pressure on me, babe. No, I'm doesn't. under pressure. She's, look, she's asleep. Like, it's just going to be fine. Don't wake her up. She's awake. <laughs> babe, please, let her sleep. Bye. Close the light. Turn the light off. <sighs> Bye, babies. Kiri finally makes her escape. Her accomplice is sister-in-law, Maria. Hi. How are you? Oh, he's done it all before. He knows what to do. What do you mean he's done it before? Well, he has not. not with kids, but... He's never looked after a no, child. Totally, no, I agree. He's had the nephew and niece where you put him on the chair and give him some lollies and that was it. Yeah, exactly. Like this, yeah. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> I worked out if she didn't get to sleep in an hour, then she might wake up. 
get a bit hungry by that time mummy will be back home. Well I do believe that I've got some gift. I'm the youngest child so I've seen my older brothers and sisters that um, what they've done and um, I've learned a lot so I feel like I've got some kind of special gift, yeah. The baby needs a few needs, change its nappy, needs to sleep, gets hungry. If you work that out, pretty much 90% there. <laughs> I'm coming, babe. OK. With six-week-old Katie going great guns on formula, Harry's keen to get her body back. But there's one little problem. I have been a bit cautious with the exercise because I've had my six-week checkup and I'm still not healed properly. I was a bit disappointed to find that out because no one likes to hear that about your lady bits. So it's going to be another month before I can do anything fun. She's at the gym with her friend Lily, who also has a young bub. Lucky for both of them, the trainer doubles as a human crash. I'm hoping to achieve my old body back, you know, my body of three years ago. That would be really nice to have back. I haven't been able to bring myself to throw away some of the clothes from back then. Tight her. Mm -hmm. When the shoulders will come forwards, will the feeding and setting and carrying. I feel like I have an exponential amount of freedom now that we're OK with Katie. How do you feel, Harry? Good. I feel really good. I find doing the exercise again is really good because then you're sort of able to go home and face it all. I've had that bit of me time, you know. A touch wood, we're not having a particularly nasty time at home anymore, so yeah. it's not like... So know. happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You guys deserve it after everything. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Feels good. Feels good. Marty's also got a spring in his step. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to cope as a father. I was afraid that our relationship wasn't on a solid enough footing. It's the fear of the unknown before the birth that, that perhaps we're just doing it for the baby. But now having the baby, we're a family. You know, it's... We're, um, we're, yeah, we're a family. <laughs> I don't think I've said that before. <laughs> it's a weird, weird... Uh, Word to use, a weird sensation. Yeah, I have not used that word before. We're a family. There you go. Over at Kiri and Damien's, Daddy Daycare is going gangbusters. Did you do a smelly one? Because Kiri looks after the baby and she's done a great job for the last eight weeks, I'm going to do my best tonight to do whatever I can to make sure that baby's comfortable and that Kiri has a good time. Come on, honey. Maybe we should check your nappy. I don't know if you've done caca. Whoa, what'd you do there? What'd you do there? Listen, Mum's not here to help me if you get it all over me. All right, please don't do anything. Hang in there, hang in there. Somehow Mummy ties this up over here. I don't like this. Um, somehow... Like that. Or would you prefer it this way? My little darling. Come here. Come here, my sweetheart. I should pay a bit more attention how mummy feeds you. But I think if she feeds you like that, that's how you get the breast. Yeah, it's mummy's milk. Trust me. Trust me. It's mummy's milk. It's mummy's milk. Please have it. It's going to make you feel good. What happened? You ready? Do you want to watch a movie, baby? <laughs> Ooh, look at those beautiful eyes. You have beautiful eyes, like Mummy. And I'm very privileged that I've got a beautiful wife that actually does a great job. You're having fun hanging out with Daddy. You know, you got a bit more milk there. You just had 20 meals. I'm hands-on with pretty much anything. You throw it at me, I'll deal with it. 
What are you going to get? Oh, one of everything. Amy has just come from her postnatal checkup, and Monique is hungry for details. So, did Dr. Raper ask if you had sex yet? No, he just goes, <laughs> when you have sex the first time, it'll just feel a bit dry and tight, I guess. And I was like, I was like, oh, really? <laughs> That's not how. It I'm like, I'm like, yeah, we've already done it. Um, and he's, he was just like, oh, OK. So, who wanted it, you or Glenn? Who do you think? <laughs> um, Glenn doesn't care about my body. I get funny still if he sees me because, I don't know, I just hate it so much. And he's like, who cares, Amy? It's normal, it's fine. It's so frustrating because I've like, never been so hungry in my life since I've been breastfeeding and I can't yeah, lose I weight. Thank you. Oh, Is that gluten-free? That, that looks amazing. amazing. I was read it somewhere, roughly, that normal diet for a woman is 1,200 calories. Yeah. Pregnant is 1,500, and then breastfeeding was, like, 3,000. Awesome. It would fully make sense because I'm so, so hungry all the time. I love breastfeeding now. Really? I hated it when at the start when I got mastitis and it was painful, but because it's working, I love it. So what do you I'm love happy about to... it? Well, it's just, like, my time with him, and I feel like it's nice that I can give him everything he needs, and no. I don't know. I don't know. I like it now. While Amy's just starting to appreciate her body... Kiri is celebrating hers. That was amazing. Thank you so much. So it's just so good to just feel connected again and just, you know, to feel pressure on parts of your body that I haven't felt for a long time. Lying on the breast is not, not an issue, but um, there was a point when I was on my back and, and they, the, the letdown reflex happened and they started leaking everywhere. <laughs> but that's OK. It's all part of it. Yeah, it's all natural. I just feel like I've just woken up from a big, deep sleep. Babe! Hello, babe. How are you? I can't cope, babe. The ba ba Look, listen. you got to get back here because the baby has to stop crying. Yeah. Listen. Where's my teeth? It did poo all over the place again. Uh, yeah, I've got to go. Don't be ridiculous, please. Is she OK? Well, I had to call her the neighbour next door to help me out a little bit. Is she all right? Is she asleep? She hasn't stopped crying and and it's just been really hard on me, babe. I think she wants mum. Did you give her the bottle? She had her milk, honey. She had it? She had a bottle of milk and she's been beautiful. Good job, Dad. Do you want me to stop and get some dinner or something? No, I had popcorn, babe. You're joking, are you? You had popcorn. You didn't answer my question. How's Matisse? You all right? Matisse is beautiful, babe, but I really need to go to the toilet. So go to the yeah, toilet, the baby honey. doesn't walk, Damien. I've really got to go to the toilet now, all right? I'll see you guys later. Hang up the phone. Hang oh, up. We don't need to do that. Hello? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Dang. How'd you go? While Kiri's feeling on top of the world, Jennifer's confidence has hit rock bottom. Today, she's getting help from a Tresillion family care centre. Whenever he wakes up, he seeks for milk. He would just cry and scream. And the only thing that will settle him is by giving him milk. Are you confined to the home mostly? Yeah, um, most of the time, because I'm quite scared of taking him out. Um, is he like this most days? He's fine when I feed him. I try to keep him up. I just feel very hopeless. What you're describing is just how hard and stressful parenting is. Okay. Hey, little Caden. Hey, little girl. Oh, no. Do you? What I was doing was just matching his face, and I just matched his face with a woe face, mm -hmm. so he felt that I'd read what he was signalling. But now he's looking for his mum and he's also speaking to you with this little kicking. He's very expressive. What are you trying to say to me? She definitely made me feel like I'm not a terrible mother. 
My plan is just to go with the flow. Whatever he wants, I'm going to give it to him. Um, I'll see if it works. Hi, Grumpy. Hi, good morning. Morning. Hi, good morning. With Harry and Marty's relationship firmly on track, it's business as usual in the chores department. <laughs> I want to clean the bathroom today because then I can stop bathing her in the sink because she keeps hitting her head. Oh, that's right. So can you be on baby watch? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Zeke. You're going to have to fuck off. Before Katie came along, I was probably one of the messiest people that ever lived. Cleaning happened to other people. She's going to be crawling around soon enough, so I figure it's time now that we have to start getting into the habits of keeping things tidy. Aren't you supposed to be on baby watch? Yeah, and she's fine. She's doing fine. Perfect. She's being a little angel. What would you have me do? I would have you. What would you have me do? How can I help you, darling? How can I help you? How can I help you? <laughs> what, 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 what? But there's one bit of business that's still on hold. It would be a pretty poor existence if there was no sex in my future. We're too tired and he works all the time and it's, you know, it's just not feasible. She lives in the bedroom with us as well and we're usually so paranoid about making noise. Shh, you wake the baby. So, and, you know, plus the cat's around as well, and he's really creepy and he likes to stare. Ah! You... <laughs> Charlene's go, found the right outfit for her big night out, but she's still not feeling comfortable. I'm feeling nervous um, about tonight. I'm more worried about leaving Isaac for the first time. I just have never left him for more than an hour. It's going to be a boys' night in. Oh, accessories. I don't feel like I've got the dad thing down pat. Really, like, with Charlie not being here, so it's going to, like, show me what I'm capable of. Off. Touch the roof. It's going to be a learning curve, which I'm looking forward to. So. Hi, baby. Say hi, pretty mummy. Message oh. me when you're ready, and I'll tell you where pretty. we are. So you're all right with it? Yeah, you'll be fine. Call me if anything happens. Yeah. i got to go. <coughs> Love you. <coughs> tell daddy bring <coughs> me. <coughs> if you're so good. All right, bye-bye. <coughs> Bye, sexy mommy. It's gotta get wild. But Charlene's fears are unfounded. It seems Reese has got this baby thing nailed. I do believe I have instincts as a father. The love I have for Isaiah is like, something like unbelievable. Like, I can't describe it. And no one will actually understand until they have their own. Oh, I certainly didn't. Our sex life, like, we have started back up again. Like, obviously, like, it's when we have time to do it. We're very cautious. Well, it's like we're virgins again. <laughs> it's very important to us, like, it shows that we're both still attracted to each other and that. I'm still very attracted to her, I'm like, like, she's loving your life, so... Five hours later, when the love of his life rolls in... Do you really want to go to sleep? Once you want to go to sleep, you can come in here, go to sleep, about nine, and, yeah, he's looking for... Yeah, that's amazing. Next time, our mums and dads face responsibility head on. I am stressed because you're about to make a bloody hair appointment. Changes in the air. Maybe your boobs are as big as mine. And everyone and his cat learns what it means to be a family. Sometimes it's almost like he's protecting us, and sometimes it's just because he's being a dick. <laughs>